Hi dentist, it's P square. Let's learn pharmacology topic, pharmacodynamics. Pharmacodynamics means what the drug does to the body. Matlab, drug body mein kya karti hai? Or we can say that the action of drug. Principles of drug action. Drug accept those gene base do not impart any new function to end system. But instead, they only alter the pace of ongoing activity. Basic type of drug action can be broadly classified as stimulation means enhancement of the level of specific activity of the cell. For example, adrenaline stimulates heart, pilocarpine stimulates salivary glands. Depression means decrease in the specialized activity of the cell. For example, barbiturates depress CNS, quinidine depresses heart. Omniprazole depresses gastric acid secretion. Irritation is non specific, often noxious effect, and is particularly applied to less specified cells, for example, epithelium or connective tissue. Replacement Wo substance dena jiski deficiency ke karan wo disease ho rhi hai aur clinical symptoms aare hai. For example, levodopa is given in case of Parkinsonism. In case of Insulin dependent diabetes mellitus, insulin is prescribed and in case of iron deficiency anemia, iron is given. Cytotoxic action, it is specific action of destroying foreign bodies like parasites or cancer cells without significantly affecting the host cells and it is used for cure of infections and neoplasms for example penicillin, chloroquine, zeboboudine, cyclophosphamide etc mechanism of drug action enzymes they are very important site for the action of drug jaise ki hame pata hai bahut sari biological activities in presence of enzyme hoti hai jahan pe enzyme as a catalyst kaam karta hai therefore drug interacts with the enzyme to produce desired effect apparent increase in enzymatic activity can also occur by enzyme induction that is synthesis of more enzyme proteins Inhibition of enzyme is more common mode of drug action. It is exactly similar to that we have studied in our first year biochemistry subject. Non-specific inhibitors, they are inhibitors which inhibit by denaturing the proteins that is by altering tertiary structures resulting in inhibition of it. Non-specific inhibitor, they inhibit particular enzyme without affecting others. It can be competitive or non-competitive. Competitive equilibrium type. In this, drug is exactly structurally similar to that of the normal substrate, and there is a race between them to bind to the catalytic binding site to produce or inhibit the action. Such inhibitors increase Km. Km is the concentration of the substrate at half the maximum velocity, but the maximum velocity remains unchanged. That means higher concentration of substrate is required. To achieve half the maximum velocity of the reaction, non equilibrium type of enzyme inhibition can also occur with drugs which react with the same catalytic site of the enzyme, either form strong covalent bonds or have higher affinity for the enzyme that the normal is not able to displace the inhibitor. Non competitive in this, drug is not even similar to that of the substrate. And it even not combine or bind to the catalytic site, it binds to another site that results in alteration in the enzyme leading to loss its catalytic property. In this, Km remains unchanged but V maximum reduces. This graph shows that enzyme induction and non-competitive inhibition does not change the affinity of the drug. Whereas enzyme stimulation and competitive inhibition respectively decreases and increases Km and affecting the affinity. Ion channels are proteins which participate in transmembrane signaling and regulate intracellular ionic composition which makes them a common target of drug action. Drug can affect ion channel either through a specific receptor like ligated ion channels or G protein coupled ion channels or others. Carriers 
several substances are translocated across plasma membrane by binding to specific carriers which either facilitates diffusion in the direction of concentration gradient or they pump the metabolite against the concentration gradient by using metabolic energy that is ATP. For example, probinicid inhibits the active transport of organic acids that is uric acid in renal tubules receptors. A large number of drugs act through specific macromolecular components of the cell which regulate critical functions like enzyme activity, permeability or transport processes. Structural features These macromolecules are the site on which there is binding and interaction with the drug. They are called as receptors and a short knot comes on it. A short knot also comes on G protein coupled receptors. They are large family of cell membrane receptors which are linked to effectors such as enzyme, channel or carrier proteins through one or more GTP activated proteins or G proteins for response effectuation. All the G protein coupled receptors have common pattern of structural organization. The molecule have 7 alpha helical membrane spanning hydrophobic amino acid segments which run into 3 extracellular and 3 intracellular loops. The G protein floats in the membrane with their exposed domain lying in the cytosol and they are heterotrimeric in composition that means they have 3 units that are alpha subunit, beta subunit and gamma subunit. There are three major effector pathways through which G protein coupled receptor function. They are adenine cyclase, phospholipase C, channel regulation, adenine cyclase or cyclic AMP pathway. This is what adenine cyclase activation ke karan intracellularly second messenger bad jata hai, jo ki hai cyclic AMP, jo further function karta hai through cyclic AMP dependent protein kinase. Second is phospholipase C or IPDAG pathway. This is what happens to this activation ke karan, wo hydrolyze karwalta hai membrane phospholipid phosphoradyl inositol 4,5 bis phosphate ko to generate a second messenger inositol 1,4,5 triphosphate which further act karta hai. Channel regulation what happens is that there is no second messenger involved in the G protein couple receptors and their activation is that the channels are open or closed. Which channels are specifically channels are specifically calcium mine channel, potassium mine channel and sodium mine channel. Receptors regulating gene expression or transcription factors or operational scheme of intracellular glucocorticoid receptors. It is called so because in this way steroid hormones work. They do not bind to the receptors on the cell membrane. Instead, they penetrate the cell membrane and bind to the receptors present within the cell. And by this, uh, as we can see in this diagram, there is a site called as steroid binding domain on which the steroid hormone will bind and this whole molecule will go inside the nucleus which interact with the DNA uh, from the DNA binding domain and result in formation or we can say result in transcription and there is formation of mRNA which further will be processed by ribosomes to form proteins and there will be the modification of cellular function. Dose response relationship When a drug is administered systemically, dose response relationship has two components. They are dose plasma concentration relationship and plasma concentration response relationship. Generally, response increases with increase in the dose or we can say with increase in the concentration of the drug at receptor and the dose response curve is a rectangular hyperpola because it follows law of mass action which is this one and in this E is observed effect of the dose of the drug and D is the dose E maximum is the maximum response and K is, is dissociation constant of the drug receptor complex which is equal to the dose of the drug at which how the maximum response is produced. The log dose response curve 
can be characterized by its slope and position, drug potency and efficacy. It is very important as a short note comes on it. The position of the dose relationship curve on the dose axis is the index of dose potency. It indicates the amount of drug needed to produce a certain response. A dose response curve position rightward indicates low potency. Moreover, relative potency is more meaningful than absolute potency. For example, if 10 mg of morphine is equal to 100 mg of pethidine, it means that morphine is 10 times more potent than pethidine. The upper limit of dose response curve is index of drug efficacy. It means the maximum response that can be elicited by the drug. For example, morphine produces a degree of analgesia not obtained with any dose of aspirin. It means that morphine is more efficacious than aspirin. Drug potency and drug efficacy can vary independently. For example, aspirin is less potent as well as less efficacious analgesic than morphine. Pethidine is less potent but equally efficacious analgesic as morphine. Diazepam is more potent but less efficacious CNS depressant than pentobarbitone. This is the dose response curve of 4 drugs. If we observe it carefully, we can observe that B is potent but equally efficacious as A because the dose of drug required to produce the response is more in case of B as compared to A. Therefore, potency of B is less than that of A. But both produce equal response. Therefore, they are equally efficacious. In case of drug C, which is less potent than that of A, but equally potent that of B and C is less efficacious from both A and B. If we talk about drug D, which is more potent than any of the other drug, but is less efficacious than that of A and B, but equally efficacious as drug C. This graph is very important to explain the drug potency and drug efficacy in exams. Sometimes question comes on therapeutic index. It is gap between therapeutic effect dose response curve and adverse effect dose response curve. It defines the safety margins of the drug. In experimental animals, it is calculated by dividing median lethal dose to that of median effective dose. Combined drug effect. A question comes as write or enumerate various combined drug effects and explain competitive antagonism. जब दो और दो से ज़्यादा drugs इकट्ठी दी जाती हैं तो क्या हो सकता है कि वो या तो एक दूसरे के साथ बिल्कुल इंटरेक्ट ना करें जहाँ वो एग्जिबिट करते हैं सनर्जिज़म और एंटागोनिज़म सनर्जिज़म लेट्स ब्रेक द वर्ड सन मीन्स टूगेदर Organ means work. When action of the one drug is facilitated or increased by the other, they are said to be synergistic. In synergistic pair, both the drugs can have action in the same direction or given alone one may be inactive but still enhances the action of the other drug when given together. It can be additive or supra-additive. In additive, the effect of two drugs are in the same direction and they simply add up means 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. For example, aspirin plus paracetamol as analgesic and antipyretic, nitrous oxide plus ether as general anesthetic, supraditive also called as potentiation. The effect of combination is greater than individual effect of the components. It means that 1 plus 1 is more than that of 2. This is always seen in case when one component is inactive for example, acetylcholine plus physiostigmine, there is inhibition of breakdown, levodopa plus carbidopa, there is inhibition of peripheral metabolism, antagonism, when one drug decreases or abolishes the action of the another, they are said to be antagonistic. In this case, 1 plus 1 is less than 2. Usually in an antagonistic pair, one drug is inactive as such, but decreases the effect of the other depending upon the mechanism involved. 
एंटागोनिज्म कैन बी फिजिकल केमिकल फिजियोलॉजिकल और फंक्शनल और रिसेप्टर फिजिकल बेस्ड अपॉन फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द ड्रग्स बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस इज चारकोल चारकोल एब्जॉर्ब द एल्कोलॉइड्स एंड प्रिवेंट देयर एब्जॉर्बशन देयर फॉर चारकोल इज यूज इन एल्कोलॉइड पॉइजनिंग केमिकल टू ड्रग्स रिएक्ट केमिकली एंड रिजल्ट इन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ इनएक्टिव प्रोडक्ट एग्जाम्पल पोटाशियम पर मैगनेट ऑक्सीडाइज एल्कोलॉइड्स एंड यूज फॉर कैस्टिक लवाज इन पॉइजनिंग टैनिंग्स प्लस एल्कोलॉइड्स इन सोल्यूबल एल्कोलॉइडल टैनेट इज फॉर्मड मैनी ड्रग्स मे रिएक्ट वैन मिक्सड फॉर एग्जाम्पल थायोपेंटोन सोडियम एंड सक्सिनाइल कोलिन क्लोराइड सेंसलिन जी सोडियम एंड सक्सिनाइल कोलिन क्लोराइड वैन अ पेशेंट रिक्वायर मोर देन वन ड्रग वी डो नॉट मिक्स इन द सेम सीरेंज और इन्फ्यूजन बॉटल फिजियोलॉजिकल और फंक्शनल इन दिस द टू ड्रग्स हैव डिफरेंट फिजियोलॉजिकल फंक्शन विच इज ऑपोजिट टू ईच अदर इट मीन्स दे हैव फिजियोलॉजिकल फंक्शंस और वी कैन से द फार्माकोलॉजिकल इफेक्ट इन ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल हिस्टमिन एंड एड्रनालिन ऑन ब्रॉन्किल मसल्स एंड ब्लड प्रेशर हाइड्रोक्लोरोथाइजाइड एंड ट्राइमेटरीन ऑन यूरिनरी पोटाशियम आइन एक्सक्रीशन रिसेप्टर द एंटागोनिस्ट इंटरफेस विद द बाइंडिंग ऑफ द एगोनिस्ट विथ इट्स रिसेप्टर और इट्स इंटरफेस द जनरेशन ऑफ रिस्पॉन्स टू सच बाइंडिंग दीज आर डोज रिस्पॉन्स कर्स शोइंग कॉम्पिटेटिव एंड नॉन कॉम्पिटेटिव एंटागोनिज्म इन विच ए इज एगोनिस्ट एंड बी इज कॉम्पिटेटिव एंटागोनिस्ट एंड सी इज नॉन कॉम्पिटेटिव एंटागोनिस्ट द मेन थिंग दैट विल कम इन टू योर माइंड फ्रॉम दिस क्राफ विल बी इन रेफरेंस टू डैट वी हैव स्टडीड इन ड्रग पोटेंसी एंड ड्रग एफिकेसी इन केस ऑफ वी बिच इज कॉम्पिटेटिव एंटागोनिस्ट यू विल ऑब्जर्व दैट देर इज डिक्रीज इन पोटेंसी बट इन केस ऑफ सी विच इज अ नॉन कॉम्पिटेटिव एंटागोनिस्ट देर इज डिक्रीज इन एफिकेसी these are the differences between competitive and non competitive antagonism which we have already discussed now the one more point which we should remember is example competitive antagonism the best example is naloxone which is antidote of morphine it is used in morphine poisoning and for non competitive is bicuculin for diazepam thanks make sure to share the knowledge with your friends keep supporting